Well, for anyone looking to refresh themselves on a little Texas history while enjoying a family-friendly show, Texas, the outdoor musical, is right up your alley. Ali Kosecki brings us an inside look at how the musical's performers are bringing life to the Texas Panhandle's first settlers. <laughs> Now, many have heard of the Paladero Canyon State Park, but what many who simply drive by might be missing out on is the Pioneer Amphitheater, home of Texas the Musical. Texas the Outdoor Musical is going on its 55th season. With 60 plus performances a year, it's hard to believe the production all started out as a dream. Oh, it was a dream of Margaret Harper, a lady back in the early 60s. And uh, she saw an article about outdoor symphonic dramas back in North Carolina. And uh, she said, I want one of those in Paladero Canyon. And while many doubted her, four years later, along came the Canyon's outdoor drama. It's what makes live theater different from any other experience is that transfer of, uh, uh, of emotion between the performers and the audience. Yurik and his crew search for the best of the best, bringing in talent like Emily Kelleher all the way from New York. So it really does create this community and at the meet and greet afterwards, you know, people are very adamant about how much it does mean to them being from Texas, so I love that. And they aren't joking when they say practice makes perfect. And the rehearsals are from 1 to 10 every single day for three weeks straight with no days off. Come to see Texas and if not for like the spectacle and the horses and the fireworks, come for the cast and crew because they are truly lovely people. The Paladero Canyon is the second largest canyon in the United States. Texas the Outdoor Musical has performances every summer from June to mid-August. If you want something a little closer, though, don't forget the Fort Griffin Fandangle. Its final performances coming up in Albany this weekend.